great news today. Jerry Kuzman, number 36, will have his number retired next year. Well, really no margin for error for the Mets, Wayne, and so Noah Syndergaard will have the catcher that he wants, and we'll see if it produces the results the Mets want. And if Syndergaard can get Alfaro, he can escape this inning unscored upon. And he struck him out. Noah strikes out three in the inning to escape first inning trouble. And the Mets come to bat with no score. Sandy Alcantara uh, is hoping to finish his 2019 rookie campaign strong. He is set to make his team high 31st start of the season tonight. Brandon Nimmo who sat last night back in the lineup and leading off tonight. 0-2 pitch, a swing and a miss, and a good start for Alcantara, a three-pitch strikeout. And now he'll face Isan Diaz, the Marlins' second baseman, leading off the second. Syndergaard's first pitch is in the air to left field, sending Davis back. He's onto the track. He's at the wall. Goodbye! Isan Diaz has hit his fourth big league homer, his second here at City Field, and the Marlins take a 1-0 lead in the second. He hit that ball through the teeth of the wind. How about that? Boy. And there are two outs now, and with Dean at second, we have to John Birdie. 0 oh and 2 with two outs. And Syndergaard delivers. Slow roller, tough play. Cano cannot make the play, and here comes it again. Dean! Second night in a row, the Marlins take nothing for granted on an infield ground ball and score a run. So 2 0 Miami, and here's Miguel Rojas. 1 and 2 to Rojas. The pitch. Swing and a slow hit chopper to the left side to his left McNeil. Gloves it, hesitates, but throws in time. And that retires the side. So two out, Walker still a third. The infield can back up for Isan Diaz. Here's the 2-0 pitch, and it's a ground ball right side in for a base hit. Isan Diaz is two for two. And the Marlins have a 3-0 lead. Nito, Syndergaard, and Nimmo against Sandy Alcantara. Nothing in two pitch. Ground ball weakly hit back up the middle. Diaz to his right, has it, throws the first, and he got him. That's a sensational play by Isan Diaz. Fourth inning, Austin Dean leads off against Noah Syndergaard. 1-1. Dean grounds it to third. McNeil down to Anita Glevitt, gets up and swings a throw to first. Alonzo had to redirect his feet, and he hangs on to the bag. And now Miguel Rojas will bat. Birdie runs. Rojas hits it toward the vacated hole. Nice retreat by Rosario, and a beautiful play to get him. That's a terrific play by Rosario. Two away. Now runners on the corners for Conforto. Uh, but this is a guy, every time he steps into the box, you worry he might do some damage. The 0-1 ground ball into the shift on the right side. Diaz there, has it, fires, got him. The Mets strand two in the bottom of the fourth inning. So now again, the Mets have to bring the infield in with one out. Here's Alfaro in this exact same spot. Man at third, one out, infield in. The 0-1 pitch is a chopper over the mound and into center field. Base hit Alfaro, grounded right up the middle, right through the draw in an infield. Walker scores 4-0 Miami. Two out now. Alfaro, the runner at second with his fourth stolen base, and Harold Ramirez coming up. Mm. And Ramirez, it's a slow grounder for Rosario, and he makes the play to end the inning. Hey, Paul, we know that Pete Alonzo's nickname is the Polar Bear. We also know that he won the home run derby this past year. So what do you get when you combine those two backs? You get one sweet piece of bling. Check out that pendant that Alonzo has been sporting for the past couple of months. Marlins lead the Mets 4 to nothing. Isan Diaz coming to bat. And that's on the inside corner. Avilon gets Diaz looking at a changeup. And that retires the side. So runner in scoring position with nobody out. And now Michael Conforto single to center back in the second, one for two. Conforto drives one out to right center field. Back goes Birdie to the warning track, and it's out of here. Michael Conforto with a 2 1 homer, number 32 for Conforto. And the Mets cut the Marlins' lead in half. It's now 4 to 2. Rosario at third with two out. Nimmo tying run right at the plate. Nimmo batting, 2-2 two, two pitch, swing and a miss, strike three, he got him. Sandy Alcantara strikes out Brandon Nimmo for the third time tonight. He's through seven innings. So one out and one out, now we're going to pitch hitter. Martin Prada will bat for Neil Walker. Speaking of really good base challenge, there goes Birdie for third, pitches a ball, throw down to third, not in time. Birdie has tied a club record. It's the fourth four stolen base game in Marlins history. So two away, and now Starling Castro has had a rough night. He's got 0 for 4. Lifted out to right, and Conforto retreats. He's there, 
And that retires the side. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Four to two Miami. And the Mets now will bring the tying man to the plate in Michael Conforto. He drives this one deep right center toward the wall. It's out of here. Michael Conforto ties the game with his second two run homer of the night. And the Mets have life. It's four to four in the ninth. And now it's Wilson Ramos coming up for the second time tonight. Pitch coming and Ramos lines one caught at third by Castro back to first and hustling back diving head first safely into the bag Rosario and Brandon Nimmo will be the batter 2-2 two -two pitch bounce to the right side up at the first base and Prado takes it himself and we are going to work overtime tonight at City Field it'll be Alfaro Diaz and Ramirez here in the 10th against Familia. Alfaro flies one out to left field. McNeil back onto the warning track. And at the wall, he makes the catch. Ooh. That ball almost kept on carrying. And the Mets have the bases loaded and nobody out. And Ramos, a chance to win it. 2 2 coming. And Ramos hits one slowly up the line. The scoop oh. by Castro, and they get the out at the plate. Oh, what a play. Beautiful play by Stalin Castro. Now, what are they going to do with Nimmo? If they're going to stay with the five man infield? Well, apparently so. Ball four, and the Mets win the ball game. Brandon Nimmo with the walk-off walk, and the Mets have breath as they win it in 11, five to four.